All right, we'll continue along here with our, our peppers and our, our dark medium values. I've left a little bit of a white area right here um, so that we can have um, that light line come through there like that. Leaving a little bit of that right like that is perfect. And then also a little bit right here. Gonna have to take a little bit of control with your brush. Like that. Okay. A little bit of that. A little bit of that. And dark value. Now this one up here is a darker line that cuts across, so I can go right up to that. Use the tip of the brush along your edges there. I've dropped in another of more of that brilliant green, so we're getting a little bit of variety of color in with our pepper. So it's not just one solid area of one pure color. But it does need to be darker. Okay, so this. take this down here turning into some nice green there for us. How awesome. Let's take this up and around. Gonna drop a little bit more there like that. And then I'm using the tip of the brush there. And let's do another little dab of that green like that. And now as we come in here, that'll mix in and give us a little bit more variety in our, on our colors. Now right up to there like that. a little bit of orange just to mix in with this. There we go. And so that should take care of our little bit of greens there. We're going to have some some darker stuff here. I think we need to need just this one little spot right in here, don't we? And once again, the tip of the brush to make sure we get our white lines in there. Kind of like that. I wonder, I'm going to make this down just a little bit more here too. I 
have to re-wet that just a little bit. And then we can put some darker, darker stuff down in there. <coughs> okay, so that takes care of our, our dark medium values on the green pepper.